In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust uh, those hard to reach brakes, uh, the V brake style brakes on uh, a lot of the tri bikes here. Uh, very similar to the other uh, caliper brake, uh, just you have two spring adjustments. Uh, so, like before, that one adjustment moved it from left to right. Uh, what this bolt is doing is, uh, like V brakes, uh, what that is doing is it's increasing the spring tension on the one side. Uh, so if you were to rotate it to the right or clockwise, that would increase the spring tension, so that would bring the lever this way. Um, and then if you were to loosen off, what that would do is it would bring it that way. Um, so obviously if the brake isn't perfectly to the center, uh, you might hear this. Um, it's rubbing just a little bit, um, just because we do have quite a bit of play on this one side here. Um, so what I'm going to do is, you can see that little bit of play. So what I'm going to do is, um, since I press on the brake, and then right now it's rubbing on the non-drive side, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen off the spring tension here. Uh, again, what that's going to do is it's going to move it that way. So I'm just going to loosen that off a little bit, um, and then I'm just going to press on the brake lever. So I'm going to press on the brake lever, you're going to see the brakes press on a couple of times. Uh, I'm just going to spin the wheel and we're just going to see if we're roughly centered there. And it's looking pretty good. Just by pressing on the brake there, um, we're just going to feather the brake a little bit and just see which side touches first. And they're looking pretty even. Um, so very simple adjustment. Um, so again, uh, we're just going to, this increases the spring tension and then this just decreases it. Uh, what you're going to notice is the brake is not really moving with uh, that one adjustment. That's why you have to pump the brakes a couple of times um, just to see where it ends up being. Um, so we'll obviously pump the brakes a few times, you're going to spin it, um, and right now what's happening is that left brake pad is hitting before. Um, so we're just going to loosen this off a little bit more and that should be good. Um, so pump the brakes, see where it ends up. Um, obviously we loosen it off quite a bit and we still need to go more uh, to that non-drive side. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go the opposite side and uh, tighten up the uh, bolt there. On the opposite side here, uh, we're just going to tighten this one little bolt right there a little bit and then that should bring it over. So when we're pressing the brake, we're just trying to get these touching at the same time. But yeah, it's looking pretty good on there. Um, as long as the brake pads touch the rim at the exact same point in time, uh, then everything's looking really well adjusted. Um, and then we should be good to go to ride.